Lego AMM is a module developed for iPad use, seamlessly integrated. Welcome to the Lido AMM computer-based training. Lido AMM is a module developed for iPad use, seamlessly integrated into Lido mPilot. Depending on the configuration used by your company, the functionalities of Lido AMM may differ slightly from those shown in this course. The application contains a detailed user guide for your reference. In this CBT, pink rectangles will draw your attention to a specific part of the display. The lesson flow can be continued by tapping the next button, or a chapter of your choice via the menu tab. When starting the CBT, the menu tab shows a listing of all chapters. Selecting the transcript tab displays the script for the video currently displayed. To maximize or minimize the video window, use native iPad OS pinch gestures. The volume control button and the basic player controls are located below the video window. You can return to the previous video or continue your lesson to the next video by selecting previous or next respectively. The exit button is located in the top right corner and allows you to quit the CBT when required. To display the own ship symbol on Lido AMM, an avionics interface used in the aircraft needs to be selected. Lido M Pilot offers two methods of selection. For quick access and selection of an avionics interface, tap on the Location Provider button located on the top bar. A popover opens, allowing you to view and select an available avionics interface. The list of available avionics interfaces depends on your company configuration. By default the option None is pre-selected when Lido AMM is first set up, to indicate that no connection is selected. Once an avionics interface is selected, the connection status and a tick will be displayed on the right side of the selected option in the popover. Additionally the connection status of the selected avionics interface will be displayed on the top bar, as one of four symbols for quick recognition. The four symbols indicate Connected Connecting Connection failed, or no connection is selected. Alternatively, the selection of available avionics interface can also be performed by selecting the settings button in status view, followed by the location provider tab. Then tap on the required avionics interface. The connection status of the selected avionics interface and a tick will be displayed on the right side of the selected option. In the settings window, the selected avionics interface will be shown on the right side in the location provider tab. Similar to the selection process using the Location Provider button, the connection status will be displayed with its respective connection status symbol on the Location Provider button on the top bar for quick recognition. Having completed the avionics interface selection process, the selection of the aircraft type in use is required so that the own ship symbol on Lido AMM is displayed with the correct offset between the cockpit and GPS receiver. Let's proceed to the aircraft type selection by tapping the settings button at the bottom bar in status view. In the settings window, select the aircraft type tab to activate the select aircraft type window. You can scroll within the window to view the available aircraft types. To select, simply tap on the aircraft type and a tick will be displayed on the right side of the selected option. In the settings window, the selected aircraft type will be shown on the right side in the aircraft type tab. Additionally, the selected aircraft type will be displayed on the location provider button for quick recognition. The airport moving map is considered to be a part of the terminal charts library and can be found under the ground charts category of a specific airport in the all charts folder. If airport moving map is available, AMM tile will be visible on the top of the list containing all ground charts. Selecting the AMM tile will bring up the airport moving map. Please note that when airport moving map is available, the AMM tile will be pre-selected and available in the clipboard by default. If an invalid airport moving map is selected, the chart title is displayed in a warning color and AMM not valid is displayed in the center of the map. Your company may not have selected airport moving map to be available for all airports. If an airport moving map is not available for an airport, the AMM tile will not appear.
First, we will have a look at the departure airport map for a briefing. To bring up the airport moving map, select the airport, which will bring up the clipboard. Select the AMM tile. This will bring up the airport moving map. Connectivity with the avionics interface allows the display of the own ship symbol on the airport moving map. Its availability depends on the connection to the aircraft avionics. Whenever position data from the avionics is received by Lido M pilot, the own ship symbol will be displayed on the airport moving map. The nose of the aircraft is represented by the tip of the directional own ship symbol. The tip of the symbol points in the direction of the aircraft's heading. If track information is lost, the non-directional own ship symbol is displayed. The own ship symbol is displayed on the airport moving map when the aircraft ground speed is 80 knots or less. When an airport moving map is displayed for the first time, it will be depicted in its entirety. The map is displayed at the maximum zoom out level in off-center mode, magnetic north oriented. Double tapping on the airport moving map allows you to zoom into the area of your interest. You can also zoom in or out of the airport moving map by using iPad OS native pinch gestures. Three different view modes are available in Lido AMM. You can toggle between view modes using the recentering icon. The selected view mode will be displayed on the recentering icon as one of three symbols for quick recognition. The symbols for the three view modes are North Up, Track Up, and Off Center. When North Up mode is selected, it shows a moving magnetic north oriented map. The own ship symbol is displayed on the center of the map and rotates according to the updated position of the aircraft. North of mode is always available, independent of the connection to the avionics interface. It does not require the ability to read position data, and therefore will be available with or without the own ship symbol. To switch to track up mode, tap the recentering icon. In track up mode, the own ship symbol is static and points to the top of the display, while the map moves and rotates. It is recommended for use during taxiing. The availability of track up mode depends on the availability of the position data, coming from the avionics interface. Let's look at the last view mode, off-center mode. It shows a static magnetic north-oriented map. When the aircraft position is within the airport moving map, the own ship symbol moves and rotates dynamically on a static map. If the position of the aircraft is outside of the airport moving map, the aircraft position will not be actively displayed. Panning the map to a different position is possible in all three view modes. In north up mode and track up mode, when panning is initiated, the application will automatically recenter the map on the own ship symbol after 8 seconds, when no further panning action is performed. Let's look at the five buttons available in the bottom bar. First, the font size toggle button to adjust the text on the airport moving map to one of three different font sizes. Next is the information button. When tapped, it opens the airport info popover allowing you to access the following. Basic airport information for the selected airport via the airport tab. Chart notum information via the chart notum tab when your company has configured for this option. Meter, TAF, and DATIS information via the Weather tab, when your company has configured for this option. AFC via the View AFC button, and show the airport on the en route map by selecting the Show and en route button. Beside the Information button is the Taxi Destination button. To highlight and define your taxi destination on the airport moving map, tap on the taxi destination button. The taxi destination popover opens allowing you to toggle between two tabs, runway, or, parking stand. A search field is available in both tabs. When the runway tab is selected, the popover lists all runways available at that particular airport. Select your anticipated departure runway by tapping on the corresponding runway tile. Lido AMM will identify the selected runway, 
as your taxi destination and automatically highlight its runway designator in green. The selected runway can be deselected by selecting a different runway tile as the anticipated departure runway or tapping on the selected runway tile again. A runway can also be selected or deselected directly on the airport moving map by a single tap on the runway designator directly. You can also perform a runway selection using a long tap on the runway designator and selecting the select for takeoff button in the runway attribute lookup. The runway designation will be highlighted in green indicating that it is an anticipated departure runway. To deselect the runway as your anticipated departure runway using a long tap gesture, long tap on the runway designator and select the remove selection for takeoff button in the runway attribute lookup. Parking stands can be selected in a similar way. Single tap on the taxi destination button. When the parking stand tab is selected, a list of all published parking stands at the airport will be displayed. You can either scroll through the list or enter the parking stand in the search field and select the displayed parking stand. The selected parking stand will be highlighted in green. A selected parking stand can be deselected by selecting a different parking stand as the new anticipated parking stand or selecting the parking stand again in the taxi destination popover when the parking stand tab is selected. Additionally, an anticipated parking stand can also be selected or deselected on the airport moving map directly through a single tap on the parking stand label. When more than one parking stand label is available at the tapped area, a popover appears listing all parking stand labels within the tapped area. Select the required parking stand from the list and then tap the Select as Destination button highlighted in green to select the parking stand as an anticipated parking stand. To deselect a parking stand as an anticipated parking stand, tap the parking stand label. After selecting the parking stand from the list, the deselect as destination button will be available for selection. Tapping the button will deselect it as an anticipated parking stand. In the event that the selected parking stand or selected runway is outside of the viewed area, a green arrow will indicate the direction in which the selected taxi destination is located. The autofocus function in Lido AMM offers the possibility to display the own ship symbol and the selected taxi destination simultaneously on the airport moving map when the autofocus button is enabled. The autofocus button is displayed and available for selection when north of mode or track up mode is enabled and a taxi destination is selected. Let's look at the next button in the bottom bar, the frequency box button. When the button is selected, it displays a frequency box listing all frequencies found on the AGC, APC, and LVC charts in the upper right corner of the airport moving map. The frequency box can be dragged to any desired location on the map. It can be closed by selecting the frequency box button again. The final unique button available in the bottom bar is the edit button which allows the possibility of drawing and editing lines on the airport moving map. When the button is tapped, the feature bar will be displayed on the right side of the screen, with the line annotation button activated by default. You can start drawing a line on the map, and the line will be depicted in the color marked with a white check mark at the top of the feature bar. To change color, simply tap on one of the colors available and the selected color will be marked with a white check mark. You can also adjust the width of the line by tapping the width adjustment button and dragging the slider to the left or right to decrease or increase its width respectively. You can erase part of a line by selecting the eraser button. If you want to remove a complete line, select the tap to delete button and confirm your selection. To delete all drawn lines, tap the trash can button at the bottom of the feature bar and confirm the deletion by selecting the delete button. To hide the feature bar, Simply tap the edit button. You can also create, edit and delete a pin annotation on the airport moving map. To add a pin annotation, long tap on the map where a pin annotation is required. An editing popover will be displayed. If the tapped area contains airport attributes, a popover with the add note button will appear instead. Select the Add Note button to access the editing popover. Enter the required text in the popover. Then tap the Done button or tap outside the popover to save the annotation. A pin will be displayed on the map. 
Please note that zooming into the airport map allows the content of the pin to be displayed below the pin. If you need to edit the content of a pin, tap on the pin followed by the text area in the editing popover. Adjust the content displayed in the popover. And then tap the done button to confirm the change. To delete a pin, tap on the pin followed by the text area in the editing popover. Then select the delete button. Another function available in Leo AMM is to mark a runway and or taxiway as closed on the airport moving map when the information is received from an authorized source. Please note that this function is only available in off-center mode. To mark a specific runway as closed, for example, runway 27 left, simply long tap on its designator and select the close runway button available in the runway info popover. A red cross will appear indicating that the runway is closed. To mark taxiway Foxtrot is closed, long tap on the first taxiway label. In the popover, select the required taxiway designator, followed by the close taxiway button, to confirm your selection. The taxiway label will be marked with a red cross. Proceed to the next taxiway Foxtrot label, and repeat the same steps. To open a runway manually marked as closed, simply long tap on its designator, for example runway 27 left. In the runway info popover, select the open runway button and the red cross will be removed. To open a taxiway manually marked as closed, for example taxiway Foxtrot, long tap on the first taxiway label marked with a red cross. In the popover, select the required taxiway designator followed by the open taxiway button. The red cross on the taxiway label in the airport moving map will be removed. Proceed to the next taxiway Foxtrot label and repeat the same steps. Note. Some airport features may be closed in the officially published data. They are indicated on the airport moving map by yellow crosses. These features cannot be opened manually. Similar to the decluttering button on the en route map, a decluttering button is also available on the airport moving map. Tapping the button results in the following. All pin annotations are hidden. All line annotations are hidden. Frequency box is hidden if displayed. And all taxiway and parking stand labels are displayed. To disable the decluttering function, simply tap the decluttering button again. Lido AMM provides an arming function, which will automatically remove any chart from Lido M Pilot and display the airport moving map to reduce pilot workload and enhance safety during aircraft operations. Additionally, Lido AMM incorporates features and functionalities to minimize the risk of a runway incursion. The arming function will activate automatically in the following scenarios. Approaching a runway safety area. Lining up on a runway. Takeoff roll from a non-anticipated departure runway upon rejected takeoff roll, and upon landing. A runway safety area is defined as the runway area enclosed within the CAT-1 or CAT-2-3 holding line, whichever is closer to the runway for precision approach runways and general runway holding position lines for non-precision runways. The airport moving map will be displayed automatically whenever the aircraft is approaching a runway safety area. If the airport moving map is displayed during lineup on the anticipated departure runway, the map will be removed to display the first SID chart listed in the clipboard. Note: If no SID chart is available in the clipboard, Lido M Pilot will display the first IAC listed in the clipboard. In the event that chart types other than SID and IAC are listed in the clipboard, or no chart is available in the clipboard, the en route map will be displayed instead. If a runway is defined as an anticipated departure runway, and the aircraft appears to be in a takeoff roll on a runway, not defined as the anticipated departure runway, with a chart other than the airport map displayed, Lido AMM will remove the currently displayed chart and display the airport moving map together with an alert message. The arming function will be activated when the aircraft ground speed exceeds 40 knots on the non-anticipated departure runway.
Lido AMM will remove any displayed Lido M pilot chart during a rejected takeoff roll. Preconditions to trigger the arming function, for a rejected takeoff roll, are a ground speed between 50 and 90 knots achieved, followed by a deceleration of 10 knots or more. When these conditions are met, the arming function will be activated, and the respective airport moving map will be displayed. To support the crew, in identifying the next suitable runway exit upon landing, Lido AMM will switch to airport moving map automatically, when the aircraft decelerates through 80 knots, displayed in the track-up mode with the own ship symbol. Let's continue with the Lido AMM advisory and alert functions. Lido AMM displays a number of advisory and alert messages. Lido AMM takes aircraft heading into account, and activates the arming function, which displays approach runway together with the runway identifier, at a distance of approximately 50 meters prior to reaching the respective holding line. At some airports with intersecting runways, the approach runway message may appear upon crossing the respective holding line. The message will disappear once the aircraft has stopped, or crossed the respective holding line. Lido AMM displays an on-runway message, together with the runway identifiers, whenever the aircraft is on a runway surface, and aligned within plus or minus 25 degrees of the runway bearing. The message will be removed automatically after 5 seconds. If the runway is selected as the anticipated departure runway, the message will be displayed in green and be removed automatically after 5 seconds. In the event that the aircraft is on a runway, that is not selected as the anticipated departure runway, the message will be displayed in red and remain displayed on the map as long as the aircraft remains on the runway surface. Please note that no advisory message is displayed after landing while the aircraft is maneuvering on the runway. Lido AMM monitors the aircraft movement on runways and taxiways. If the aircraft ground speed exceeds 40 knots, while maneuvering on a non-anticipated departure runway, Lido AMM will display the message Confirm Runway and switch to Track Up Mode. Thus, it is recommended to always define the current anticipated departure runway in Lido AMM to avoid any unnecessary disturbances during the takeoff roll. The message Confirm Runway will change to On Runway, together with the runway identifier, once the aircraft has decelerated below 40 knots. In the event that the aircraft continues to accelerate above 80 knots, the message and the own ship symbol will be removed from the airport moving map. If the aircraft ground speed exceeds 40 knots, on any airport surface other than a runway, Lido AMM will display the message on taxiway and track up mode. The message will be removed automatically once the aircraft has decelerated below 40 knots, or continues to accelerate above 80 knots. Additionally, the arming function will not be activated, and the message will not be displayed, once the aircraft has crossed the CAT-1 or CAT-2-3 holding line of the anticipated departure runway. Another important topic is degraded Lido AMM behavior. In the event aircraft position is lost, the airport moving map will transition to magnetic north orientation, the own ship symbol will be removed immediately, a toast message position lost, requiring user acknowledgement will be displayed at the bottom of the map, and the symbol on the recentering icon changes to show aircraft position not available. Lido AMM will inform you, when aircraft position is restored through a blue message position restored that can be closed manually, or will disappear automatically after 8 seconds. Additionally, the own ship symbol will be displayed immediately, and the symbol on the recentering icon changes to show off center mode automatically. If aircraft heading information is lost, the own ship symbol will change to display the non-directional own ship symbol immediately, and a toast message track lost, Requiring user acknowledgement will be displayed at the bottom of the airport moving map. Once aircraft heading information is restored, Lido AMM will inform you through a blue message track restored. That can be closed manually or will disappear automatically after 8 seconds. Additionally, the own ship symbol switches from non-directional own ship symbol to directional own ship symbol automatically. Lido AMM depends on the availability of valid AMDB data. 
there may be multiple reasons for airport moving map to be unavailable. These could be due to outdated AMDB data or corrupted AMDB data. Lido AMM validates AMDB data when Lido M pilot is started. If outdated or corrupted data is detected, Lido AMM will display a warning message informing you AMM not valid. Let's bring it all together. Now that you have seen all the possibilities of Lido AMM, we would like to ask you a few questions about using the application. To pass, you will need to answer 4 out of 5 questions correctly. Select Next when ready to start. What happens to the own ship symbol when position data coming from the avionics interfaces is lost? Mark the correct answer. Correct, the own ship symbol is removed immediately. How can you select the required aircraft type to be used with Lido AMM? Correct, aircraft type selection is that easy. Where can you find the airport moving map for a specific airport? to which your company has subscribed? Mark the incorrect answer. Correct. Finding the airport moving map is that simple. How can you zoom into an airport moving map? Select the incorrect answer. Correct, you know how to handle Lido AMM. What happens to the own ship symbol when heading information is lost? Correct, the own ship symbol changed. Congratulations! You have successfully passed the quiz. We wish you a pleasant flight with Lido AMM.